Hello and welcome to Stargate Timekeepers, a freshly released game. My name is Eiken and as an intro I wanted to uh, let you know that this game is out on Games Planet, uh, who kindly sponsored me with a version of the game. So if you are interested in getting your uh, version of uh, Stargate Timekeepers, there is a link down below for a little bit of a discount a coupon code. Uh, part of it also goes to support uh, the channel, but the game won't be any more expensive for you. So you're getting it at a great price and are helping the channel in return. Let's start with a little bit of a let's play and uh, see what this game has in store for us. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Stargate Timekeepers. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the blind playthrough of uh, this game on the hardest difficulty. Time for mission number 2 after we did the Battle of Antarctica. Anubis has been defeated, but the Gua'ul threat remains. Following her valiant efforts in Antarctica, Colonel Eva McCain was assigned to the Lambda site, an off-world outpost of Stargate Command. From there, she leads operations in aid of Jaffa groups, resisting the Gua'uld. The planet Hactyl is a base and refuge for female Jaffa who escaped Moloch's oppression. Guided by Ata, a scout in the Hactyl resistance, Eva is leading a convoy of supplies bound for a camp on Hactyl, when their journey is suddenly disturbed by an unexpected threat. All right, so let's take a look at Ata, who is a new character, Ata does have a staff that she strikes with. She does have a spinning attack. I assume it's maybe an AOE or a stronger attack. She can throw an object luring targets with an earshot to the location. So that seems a bit like whistle or the shell. She can steal supplies from an unsuspecting enemy. We're going to try that out. She can do tokal. Uh, a non-leather grenade blinding all targets within the range of the explosion and she has a climbing rope for elevation for all team members sounds like a plan let's uh, get uh, right into the mission and see what the second mission is going to look like so this is Currently now on stargate timekeepers sg1 got it the weapon of the ancients that was above and beyond colonel mccain we're forming a new team for operations with our Jafar allies, based at the Lambda site. We'd like you to lead it. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? All right, listen up. We're headed to Hactil. We'll be escorting a supply convoy to one of their camps. Isn't sending a whole team a bit overkill? We will provide a scout to help guide your way. How much longer till we reach the camp? I expect about two hours at this pace. All right, thanks. Hey, hey! Hey! <laughs> My sisters will be very pleased to receive these supplies. We greatly appreciate your generosity. No problem. We're happy to help. Hmm, we've stopped moving. Is there a problem? Colonel, there are Jaffa warriors on the path ahead. Moloch's men. They're blocking the way. Moloch? That's not good. Ata, can we change course? It might be possible. There are many paths through the forest. All right, there are many paths are through options? the forest. After this turn, the path divides. The way to the right leads to the river. There is a bridge we can raise to cross it. It is strong enough to bear the weight. After the bridge, we can continue on a path that leads towards the camp. Otherwise, we can turn left. We shall come to a great tree with a hidden passage in its trunk. Ooh. We can open it to let the convoy through. It takes two people on top of the tree to open the way. We must first pass through a clearing, then climb up. All right, we're taking the tree route. Mainly because it At looks point, cooler. The path divides again. We can go whichever way seems safest. 
either of them will take us to our destination. All right, so I smell a little so, bit of. we have options. Let's scout the area and work out the best course of action. Of replayability here. Wherever we go, our first priority is to secure the track. We can't let Moloch's warriors endanger the convoy. That is true. All right, let's go. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? Not that I know of. And I have lived here almost my whole life. Oh, I see. I okay, so well, her camps are well hidden, far from the gate, and charge staff is limited. Her decoy you, is limited. I hope you are Her right. grenade is limited. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Eva got some new abilities as well. Stun grenade. Wow. Okay, Roger. that's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And what's this? Eva analyzed target, identifying their weakness and making them vulnerable to physical attacks. Okay, Let's we're move. going to figure out how that is going to work. Yes. Crouch in the bushes to hide from sight. Okay, crouching there is going to be easy. Once we stand up, it's a problem. Got you. And we can hide enemies in the bushes. Okay, cool. Easy enough. Right on it. Let's begin with our little expedition here. Negative. Understood. We'll go. So bush is definitely a nice little feature. Indeed. Affirmative. Taking this guy down. And I think what we're going to do is you and you need to be synchronized. Got it. Okay, very good. Then you and you also need to be executed. Very good. So we can now pick up corpses. Well, it's not the corpse yet. We can pick these guys up. Basically store them in the brush. So that no one ever will find them. I like that. No, no chance of the enemies getting them back. Fantastic. Good. First problem solved. Okay. Can they find us here in the hiding places? Oh yeah. Right on it. Yes, they can. What is it? Roger. <laughs> Good. Good to know. I was not aware of that before. I shall. Let's move. Onward. Affirmative. What do you need? Pfft, okay, well, nicely missed that. And did not see the guy. So one thing that uh, this game certainly does not excel in is showcasing where enemies are located. Wouldn't it have been asking too much just to provide a key where you can outline enemies? Like this guy is standing over there and it's just very difficult to see him. Roger. 
So we wanted to take a left turn, if I'm not mistaken, which means all of these guys are Welcome. sort of not relevant for our case. Yes. The hidden passage is this way. Both of us must climb the tree to open it. Is the passage big enough for the convoy? Yes, I believe so. Affirmative. Let's see what this guy is doing. Not vulnerable. But that takes him out permanently, question mark. Alright, that's one of their guardians, so we need the energy staff in order to get through it. Fair enough. There you go. No more guarding here. I'm listening. Got it. Ah. Right on it. Ah, we got a guard over there as well. Fair enough. Good, we got some Let's move. Brushes over here. Understood. Roger. Onward. Shall hold. Awaiting orders. Right on it. Good. Got it. Easy. This guy is down. And what does this here teach us? Binoculars. Physical stun. Oh, okay. Yes. Affirmative. That's good to know because that'll save us a lot of charges of our powerful staff. Yes. Welcome. I'm listening. Let's move. <coughs> Roger. All right. So we got ourselves halfway through the path. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. Oh, that looks like a really, really, really big stargate. Affirmative. Onward. Got it. Yes. There is ammunition. How do we get on top of that tree? Certainly from there. And we get there by climbing up here and climbing up here and... Right oh, come on. We need to go through Understood. the village. Welcome. Shall I do? Indeed. Affirmative. I shall. Okay, so game is going to teach us something new now. Uh, multiple enemies, fair enough, yeah, okay, cool, yeah, um, listen, 
Nothing wrong with a grenade that blinds multiple enemies, but we first need to deal with the enemies that are available here. Nah, that didn't work out. Unfortunate. Good. We know how it's supposed to be done, though. A fine idea. Understood. The Anubis guards move. are tough. What is it? Quick knockdown. Quick handle. Quick hiding, and we're good. What is it? Roger. We could go all out and hit these guys, or right on it. We'll go. Yeah, potentially a grenade is not the worst idea. How is that possible? I shot at all of the guys that were on lying on the floor. I shot at all of the guys that were lying on the floor. And you tell me that you can shoot at enemies that are standing, but you cannot shoot at them when they're lying on the floor. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so the grenade was not the right call there. Affirmative. Need to get this guy down and a couple of others. Understood. How? 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 Oh, because you f you find uh, his staff on the ground? All right. Good. Go ahead. Search the area. I don't care. We're going to wait this out real quick. All right. Waited out the problems. Let's become a little bit more aggressive, shall we? Understood. Welcome. Affirmative. Okay, that worked like a charm. Right on it. Fabulous. So all we need to do now is continue to wait it out. Fast forward. Got it. Good, we're Shot. back this time without suspicion. Let's rethink this. Understood. I wish we had a sniper. That would make this here so much easier. These two guys are heavily, heavily going on my nerves. Let's move. They are annoying. Back in the camp there. Roger. Go 
But once this guy moves over, we're ready to take him out. Affirmative. Right, right hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, all right, that's good. That's a good start. Got it. Affirmative. This guy falls next, then the Anubis warrior. Roger. Go. I hate the inaccuracy of clicking. I can already see that this is going to be ultra annoying as time passes because it's very difficult uh, to time that correctly and you have limited amount of time to do it. Finally. Oh, yeah. So satisfying. A fine idea. So satisfying. Good. So we got those three guys down. Question of the day becomes what do we want to do with the rest? Let's move. Roger. As long as no one raises an alarm, we should be fine here. Yes. Go ahead. Right on it. Great point, Saiken. Great point. As long as no one raises an alarm, right? What is it? Affirmative. Uh, got it. These two are so aggravating. We'll go. As a matter of principle, we're going to kill them. Let's move. Understood. Affirmative. Indeed. There you go. And there you go. Synchronize that, please. Are you kidding me? What do you need? Come on, game. Seriously, there is a guy standing right. See, orders. that's the time uh, type Roger. of gotcha moment that I don't necessarily appreciate. Why? Why would you put someone here? Excuse me. Right on it. Just in order to say, haha, yeah, I told you so. Okay, I can see that this game can become frustrating due to its user interface and how these quote-unquote challenges play out. Roger. 
it's a typical case of if you don't know that he's there, you're going to get uh, effed over by it. Got it. Ready. We're it. going to come to you guys in a second. I shall. But I do have a friend that I shall visit, or two friends rather. Awaiting orders. We'll go. Because uh, these lunatics here finally will uh, receive their punishment. I'm We've snuck through the entire camp just to do this. Do we have a plan? Ready. Onward. Let's move. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Right on it. Now, if you go into the brush where no one will ever find you, according to this game, that is as good as dead. Got it. A fine idea. Dying a fine death of starvation. Roger. I can't believe that just happened. Are you kidding me? Okay, I can't attack him. Unbelievable. Oh! How? Alright, let's not get mad about that. This game is frustrating. Not because it is ultra difficult, but uh, because it does have a couple of bugs. The inability to just Understood. knock this guy down. Hey, Ata, you've got a lot of great what skills. Do Don't hesitate to try something else. Uh, no, go. we're going to do what works and not what looks fancy. A fine idea. I'm listening. We'll go. Unbelievable. Onward. We ran into this guy, dropped our corpse, and he single-handedly mauled us to death. Okay, we're going to leave uh, these guys be. I don't want repetitive gameplay here. Instead, let's learn how to climb up. Oh, there's a highlight button. I see. And we need three drums for it. Okay, cool. Good. Well, the highlight button would have absolutely helped. Uh, highlight button also highlights enemies. Well... Thank you, game, for telling me that two missions in. What do you need? Talking about intuitive user interface, eh? Let's move. Yes. No. Good. It also remains a little bit unclear why we needed two climbing spots here instead of one. I just leave the highlight on for now. That makes it less frustrating. Go ahead. Let's move. Um, I want to use the other shot. We always can come back if needed. Onward. Yes. 
Let's try something else. It's interesting, by the way. She climbs up the tree via these uh, strands and roots. Then she puts a climbing gear on top of it. And then the others can climb up via a rope, which is made out of strands and roots. Yeah, well, I think the designers haven't thought that principle fully through, but okay. I get it. The character needed a passive ability and you've just provided that to them. Fair enough. Got it. Do we have a plan? Understood. Yes. Good, look, we're on that giant tree. We need two people to operate right on these it. things, right? Right? For starters, does that mean we're going to do this here and then synchronize it? Do we have a plan? What's the idea? Yeah, do we have a plan is a great question. I suspect at the moment we don't, which is why I'm fumbling around here. <sighs> How can I help? Roger. Is this good enough? Just positioning them here. I no. shall. Typical interaction also doesn't work. Awaiting orders. Listen, it said. Let's move. This is uh, just for game speed Im uh, improvement. There isn't anything that we learn from there. It said we need to open. Uh, we need two people up here in order to open the tree. Now, I do have two people here. It just so happened right that it. we climbed the tree. And now I'm, of course, wondering what prevents us from opening said tree that we fought for for about 20 minutes. Oh. Okay, so we need to kill these guys that are clearly not in the way what is it? in order to secure the way for the convoy to go through. Well, let me take care of that off screen and I'll be back. All right, we successfully passed the tree and are now greeted by the option to either go through a open camp with a lot of enemies or a narrow passage with almost yes. as many en enemies. Well, that uh, seems like a choice between bad and really bad. So let's see. I think we're going to take bad as in the canyon. Roger. Idea. Understood. Good, let's outline enemies. That was a helpful feature. This guy is going to be a problem, I can already see it. Very good. Whew. Quick and dirty. Understood. The game's controls are whack. I can already tell that 
you left click and sometimes they uh, the character attacks and runs to them sometimes they don't I attribute it to another problem of multi-platformers. The only reason why there is a shift key here is because it has been potentially released on a couple of other platforms. And whilst I don't have a problem with consoles and releases for consoles, I do have a sizable problem with it messing up the overall controls of a game. Awaiting orders. Your powers are many, Eva McCain. Right on it. I would learn a lot from seeing all of them. Yes. Okay. Phew. That solves uh, the problem here. Understood. There's still one guy down, uh, sitting down there. What is it? We'll go. Let's move. Okay, whatever. Oh. They can be hidden there. Don't care. Roger. No. Got it. Uh. Right on it. Temple. A fine idea. Affirmative. Onward. Good. Very, very good. Okay, so we got a trap here. Got some hiding space. Understood. Got it. Let's move. Good. This is the only wanderer that we need to sort of take care of. Got it. Do we have a plan? A plan. Awaiting orders. Right on it. Good, that worked pretty well. Affirmative. Considering we needed to execute all of that in one go. Roger. But let's see if this here is going to work out just as well as I think it will. Indeed. <laughs> yes. It does. Using the traps to our advantage. That wasn't bad. We'll go. Understood. Right on it. A fine idea. Ready. Good, we're synchronizing that. 
before we're then going to tie you guys up. Always a pleasure. Always pleasure. Very good. Understood. Problem somewhat solved. Let's move. Okay. Just as I was saying, problem somewhat solved. We're running into a trap. Roger. Another one of those. Hey, I wish I knew that before it happened. Situations. I'm listening. Got it. Right on it. Onward. Good. So that's trap number one neutralized. Affirmative. Yes. We'll go. Roger. Got it. Is this here the trapping mechanism? Let's move. It is. Trap number two neutralized. Wasn't this here trap number three? Right on it. Oh no, trap oh. number three is up here. Okay, cool. Roger. I shall. Well, well at least they thought through that you could uh, solve the problem in many different ways so appreciate that no sign of hostile forces ma'am good so we're clear to proceed let's keep moving i offer you my thanks even mccain you led us through a dangerous journey you did most of the leading i just hope it's plain sailing from here it has been an honor to walk beside you I have learnt much. The honor's all mine. Cool. That brings us to uh, number two in terms of missions. Alarms triggered quite a few. And it took a while to uh, complete it. The mission certainly was a little bit more difficult than the first one. But most of the loads appeared because the game was either surprising us with uh, something that uh, you would know once you play through it once, or by simply a, a bit wonky controls. Which brings us to the end of episode number two, that was the Resistance. And uh, that is me saying goodbye for now from this mini playthrough. Uh, if you want to see more of uh, Stargate Timekeepers, leave a comment and a like down below and then we'll consider a full run through. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.